For Frequently Asked Questions Friday today, we're going to be talking about three common goals that clients have for their estate planning. And I'll be describing what the tools are to work to accomplish those goals. So the first common goal that we hear from clients is they want to make sure that they don't leave a mess behind when they pass away. And they want to ensure that the people that they want to inherit their assets from them actually will. So the tool that we use to accomplish this is a will. So a will is like a set of instructions that we leave behind to a person called our executor or personal representative. And then this person makes sure that those things happen. Um, the instructions are designed to explain what would happen with our things at the time that we passed away. So uh, in order to make sure that we aren't leaving a mess behind and that we know who will get our things when we pass away and we know who will be in charge, we have to prepare well. The second common goal that I hear from people is that they want to make their estate plan as simple as possible for their heirs, beneficiaries, um, trustees, executors, etc. These people are often asking, how can I work to settle my affairs today? Um, and the way that we do this for people who aren't also interested in asset protection is to draft what's called a revocable trust or a revocable living trust. This is our way of trying to make sure that they settle their affairs as much as possible today and then avoid the probate process, uh, which is the government process that we need to go through when they pass away. Um, there are still some obligations that we need to fulfill here in Pennsylvania when someone passes away, but we can avoid the uh, obligations that we would need to do uh, if we needed to open a probate estate for them. The third type of plan is what we do when people say, I would like to protect my assets either from future long-term care costs or creditors or lawsuits. This plan involves yet another type of trust, which is called an irrevocable trust. Uh, a properly drafted irrevocable trust can allow you to protect your assets from all of the things I just described. And in addition to that, it can also help um, you settle your affairs today. So we can use it in a similar fashion in many instances as we would a revocable trust but the planning's a little bit different. The funding that we do at that point is a little bit different. And of course, the rules that apply to those trusts and how they operate is a little bit different. In all of these cases, we are setting forth um, exactly what will happen with our things when we pass away in an appropriate fashion. It just depends on the more specific goals of the client um, in terms of which plan we choose to go with. So the first plan avoids messes and is simple and just ensures that the right things go to the right people and the right people are in charge. The middle plan helps us settle our affairs while we're still alive and makes it as easy as possible for those who remain. And the final plan can do all of those things and also protect assets from long-term care costs or creditors, predators, lawsuits. If you've got a question, I would love to hear from you. Please let us know on Facebook and we'll answer it for you. Thanks.